All right, so I wanted to come right in and uh, do a, this quick video because it's, um, uh, well, it's just still fresh in my head, but you know, um, one of the things about, uh, one of the reasons I like talking about fear a lot is because I know exactly what fear feels like. And um, so, you know, I don't know if I feel fear more than people or less than people. I don't know what the average amount of fear a person feels in their life. I don't know on a scale of one to 10 how fearful people feel. I don't know any of that, um, but I know what I feel and I know that a lot of times I'm kind of an intense person and so it's possible that maybe my, when I'm feeling afraid, it's maybe more acute than average, I suppose. But that's what happened to me last night, 3 a.m. You ever wake up in the middle of the night, freak the crap out for no reason? Well, that's what happened to me. And it happened, it comes on like a, a sickness, like a cold or a, a, a flu or something, you know? Like I went to bed feeling a little uneasy, a little on the edge. And then I woke up and I went to the bathroom and then I just went back to bed and I was just terrified. And it was about money, you know? Um, and um, I started thinking about like, uh, just, you know, where everything is in the, the financial world in relationship to my personal finances and my business finances. And, but here's the thing. The morning before, I was on top of the world. I mean, on top, omnipotent, like nothing could stop me. And then three o'clock the next morning, I'm completely at the very bottom. And what was the difference? Nothing. Nothing had happened. I didn't get any bad financial news. There was nothing bad that happened. Nothing happened except that all of a sudden I crashed out and I'm totally freaked out about money for no good reason at all. And so I believe that it was chemical. It's a uh, form of depression is what I think. And... Um, so, you know, now uh, what happened, it maybe, you know, was I starting to think about money and that kind of got me going or was I having some sort of chemical uh, swing in my, in my system and that, then that got me thinking about money and, 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 and in a negative way? Because here's the thing, you start thinking about that negative and then you think about everything as negative, like, oh, I'll never be able to, you know, this, this is, this is serious. This is hard. I, I mean, I don't, I don't see any, any answers to these mysterious problems. It just becomes this whole amygdala hijacking that I've talked about. Your brain, your reptilian brain just takes over and just tells you how crappy everything is and how you're just completely locked up. It's a, it's a, it's a you know, it's a, a flight mechanism in, in, in my case. And then, you know, and then so I'm, I'm, I'm talking to myself and I'm like, oh, and I'm thinking about these videos I've done about how you got to get, you know, whenever you feel fear, yeah, that's just the amygdala taking over the, 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 the control of your brain and, and it's an outdated uh, form of, of thinking because um, that was used when you were being attacked by lions and tigers, you know, generations and generations ago but whenever I'm feeling fear I'm like oh no no this fear is real this one is serious this is this is a this is a well thought out fear this is an amygdala hijacking in my case I'm I'm this is real <laughs> is that ridiculous so I do that all the time and so the first thing I did was I realized that that's not true. It's, it's not true. You, you can't be afraid of money. It, it's not going to eat you. It's not going to um, attack you <laughs> and tear out your jugular. It's not going to happen. Money won't do that to you. It won't. I swear. <laughs> I've never seen it happen. If money tears out your jugular, send me the video. I got to see it. I got to see it. I want to see those dollar bills coming in. <laughs> eating you. 
So the first thing I did was I I, I realized that this is uh, this is ridiculous. And but I the first thing I do is I'm I'm gentle with myself. I give myself a break. I don't slap myself around. I'm not like, look, Lewis, get out of this. You suck. You need to get back in the game. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what game is there going on? I got nothing going. I just can't happen to sleep, and I'm terrified the freak out. So I'm just like, all right, look, just sit in this for a little while. And that's the first thing I do. I'm like, it's okay to be afraid. It's all right. Just relax. Everything is going to be okay. And then I give that a second. And then I start, like, looking at what I'm afraid of. So I still couldn't sleep. So I got up. And I opened up the, the checkbooks uh, online. And I pulled out the, the monthly registers. And I started looking at stuff. And I'm like, yeah, well, that month I lost money. That month I made money. That month I lost money. Yeah, overall, I'm losing money. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> but actually, it was nothing that I wasn't anticipating. I'm in marketing in the greatest recession since the Great Depression. I hadn't been anticipating this. And furthermore, those numbers are a little bit, it's, it's difficult to really tell how much money I'm truly losing because there's, in my business, there's just a lot of different things that go on. So I can't just tell by looking at my checkbook if I'm truly losing money or, or making money. I've got to do some, some, some reports. So that's the first thing. And so then I talked to my wife about it. She's a very rational person. And she's like, she tells me what I need to do. She's like, look, you know, have you made this report? And I'm like, no. Have you talked to this person? No. Well, you got to do that. You got to find out exactly how much money you have and then see what the trends are. See if you really are losing money. And she's like, you know what? I bet you're, I bet you're losing money, but I bet it's not as much as you think it is. And what you have to decide is in the amount of the extra money that you have, because we've saved money, how long, you know, do you think you're going to be losing money for the next six months? Because that's, um, you know, that would probably, then you'd run out of money based on her calculations of how much money we had and how, how much she thinks we're, we're losing. But she, she said she didn't really know, you know. And so she's like, all right, go, uh, go make that report. See if you can get any trends and talk to that person. And then, uh, you know, make decisions from there. But... And then I started feeling better. Because you know why? Because I looked at my fear. I stared at it. Anything that you look at and you define isn't as scary as something that's in the middle of the night in the dark that you don't really understand at all. That's terrifying. That truly is like a tiger, a tiger behind that door. That's why little kids are afraid of their closet. They can't see what's in that closet in the middle of the night. It freaks them out. We do the same thing. We do the same thing. So if your fear isn't truly something that is attacking you, physically attacking you, just start looking at it, processing it, talking about it. It won't be as ominous, I promise. And be gentle on yourself. Don't, don't force yourself. Don't make yourself, uh, don't feel bad that you're afraid. You're allowed to be afraid. Everybody's afraid. Every general that I've ever read about in history has been afraid. The toughest people in the world are afraid. You're allowed to be afraid. But just, you can sit in that fear for a while, but then just start peeking at your, what you're afraid at. You know, not, you don't have to throw yourself into it. You don't have to, you know, give yourself a heart attack over it. Look at a little bit here and a little bit there and, and a little bit more, and sooner or later, you're going to find out that it's not that big of a deal. Nothing's that big of a deal. All right? You know that book, Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and It's All Small Stuff? It's true. It is true. You know it's true. You know it's true when you're not afraid. When you're afraid, it's the biggest deal on planet Earth, and you're going to die because of this. All right? So I just wanted to share with that. That is my experience with fear this morning.